Tonight, Flower and Garden, Topiaries, Disney Cruise Line, DVC, and other news of interest on this edition of the WDW Fan Zone Show. I am Stuart Sternberg, and we're here with Darlene Nagy and Jess. And Jess is going to take it away right now and start us off with everything going on in the parks. Hello, everybody. All right, so as you may have heard, Flower and Garden Festival starts March 1st, which could be today if you're listening to this to, um, March 1st. Um, but right now, for us, it's tomorrow. And we're so excited to give you um, any uh, news and all stuff, um, Flower and Garden. Um, there are two new topiaries coming up. Um, there's an Encanto-themed topiary and then also a Princess and the Frog-themed topiary. So it's so exciting we get to see those. Um, and then there's also a couple scavenger hunts that are returning this year. Um, the first one is Spike's Pollen Nation, Pollen Nation um, Exploration. And that um, is uh, $9.99 plus tax. And then the Egg Extravaganza um, starts March 13th. And then it's like a, I think there's like stickers that you look for. And then um, you have to purchase the, um, you have to purchase it to do it. And then you put the stickers on the map. But that one is also $9.99 plus tax. Um, all right. So that's it for um, Flower and Garden. Um, beginning March 20th. Annual pass holders will get to access the photo pass lenses. And that was part of um, the Genie Plus, people who purchased Genie Plus. But now they're extending that to annual pass holders. So that's really exciting. Uh, there was a really cool Genie one that um, it was like over somebody's face. So the person looked like the Genie. It's really cool. Um, and then what's something I mentioned a while ago Um a pass the past starting March 20th, the pass holders will also get a um, one complimentary Cinderella Castle Mural of Memories experience. And that is like you get a picture and it kind of like goes on to the castle. Um, normally it's nine dollars and ninety nine cents plus tax. But um, again, March 20th, pass holders will get one complimentary one. Very exciting that they are um, starting to give more and more benefits back to the pass holders. Yes. Um, they also are starting to um, do Disney themed video slideshows. And it's kind of like where you get to um, create and share your, um, your pictures from the park. And then um, you can put those into a slideshow. So that's really exciting that they're, nice. they're giving that to annual pass holders. Um, one more pass holder benefit that we have talked about that I tried to do, um, but was unsuccessful a couple weeks ago. Um, starting April 18th, you no longer need a park reservation for annual pass holders if you are going to a park after 2 p.m. Uh, normally, that is the time you can park hop. If you have a reservation for a park earlier, but now starting April 18th, you can go to a park at 2 p.m. and you do not need a park reservation. So, 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 so exciting um, that we'll be able to do that. I um, I think I misread somewhere, but that it said it would, had um, limitations and I am not sure um what they meant by that. And then I tried looking for it and I wasn't sure if that, um, I couldn't find it anywhere. So maybe I was just seeing things, but I was wondering if it was like only for certain levels of passes, but I'm pretty sure it's for all of them. So have you, have you guys seen anything about no. that? The only okay. thing we know is that we can't use that option on Saturdays and Sundays at Magic Kingdom. Yes. Right. Yes. Thank, thank you. Yes. Saturdays and Sundays at Magic Kingdom, you still need a park reservation right. to go to Magic Kingdom um, that that day. Um, and I think that's fair because mm -hmm. that park can get super crazy on the weekends, uh, especially Saturday nights. Mm -hmm. If you are planning ever on going to Magic Kingdom on a Saturday night, you probably will not have the best time. It's probably going to be a little crazy depending right. on the weather. Of course, if it's mm -hmm. like a rainy day, you might have a good, you might have good luck, but, um, and I do have one more thing for annual pass holders. Um, if you have a Tron 
preview. And the only day you were able to book was on the day that you had a blackout, which may have been March uh, 11th, Saturday, March 11th, or Sunday, March 12th. Look at your My Disney experience because you might have the ability to go to the park on that day. I was very lucky and I noticed that they gave me a one day complimentary park hopper for that day. And then I just looked and it also like they made my reservation for me and everything. It's for Magic Kingdom. And I was even able, if I wanted to go, because it's a park hopper, if I wanted to go to Epcot beforehand, I could modify that reservation and make it for Epcot in the morning. Um, I just tried to do it and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool, but I'm not going to mess around with it. I was good. I was looking at it, but I'm not going to mess around with it just in case I can't get back to Magic Kingdom because it is a Sunday evening. Um, but check it out if you do have, um, because they, they said they were going to cancel all the Trons um, if you had a blackout day, but I mean, maybe you got lucky and you got a park hopper on that day also. So check it out. And that's all I have. Right. Yes. <laughs> all right. Okay. He's got a bunch of news for us. Oh, good gracious. I know, right? This is this is good news, though. Very good news. So anybody that's going to be going out to Disneyland, the Disneyland Resort is that's a DVC member, is taking reservations for the new DVC villas that are going to be opening. Um, and that's going to be getting beginning on March 15th for stays starting in September. So anyone who's going out there, be prepared that you might be able to stay in that new Disneyland section. Then next, we have the food and um, flower and garden show right now here. Disney California Adventure Food and Wine Festival out in Disneyland starts on March 3rd. So, and runs through April 25th. It's a lot shorter than what ours is, but that's okay. But I'm going to tell you, Disney Cal California Adventure Festival Marketplace is going to have um, a Nuts About Cheese stand, an Uncorked California, a Berry Patch, a Delish, a California Craft Brews. And they're also going to have... This, I mean, some of this stuff looks really good. Um, you could check it all out on the um, Disney Parks blog. But they have California um, Cluck a Doodle Moo Garlic Kissed. At least we can pronounce these. Golden <laughs> Greens. I Heart Artichoke. So, of course, there's going to be artichokes in that one. L.A. Style. Perfect. Um, peppers Caliantre. Um, avocado time. I love avocado. And then locations throughout Disney's California Adventure Park. They're going to have different drinks. And they're going to have the Lamp um, Light Lounge is going to be included. Lamp Light Lounge Boardwalk Dining. Pacific Wharf, which, of course, that would be cool. Um, Cappuccino Cart is going to be having some Joffrey specialties, Paradise Garden Grill, Paradise Garden Grill, uh, Beer Garden, Cocktails, Sonoma Terrace, of course, hosted by Corksicle. Um, Studio Catering Company, Terran Treats, Outdoor Vending Carts are going to have different things, the Chero Cart, Chero Carts in within everything are going to have stuff, even downtown Disney district. Now I know there's been a lot of, you know, um, refurbs going <laughs> on there, but they are going to be included at the bail, um, Bayless point brewing company, Naples restaurante, e -bar, and, uh, Ralph Brennan's Jazz Kitchen is, I guess, reopened, so they'll have something too. Splitsville Luxury Lanes also will have stuff. I mean, and they've got a whole list of different foods and stuff. So check it out on the um, Disney Parks blog. Next up, DCL News is the newest Castaway Club membership tier has been announced. So if you're in the gold and going on more cruises, you're now going to get a pearl level. 
<laughs> and this pearl level, which is the new tier, has a few different um, things with that. They have the, um, you're going to be able to be the first to book your cruise, of course. Then they're going to have early access um, to cruise ahead of time. They're going to have stateroom surprises, complimentary dinner at Palo. So that pro level is going to give you some really neat things going on. Now, back in our home state of Florida at Disney World, the newest merchandise for Epcot's Flower and Garden is starting to arrive. Uh, there's a new Orange Bird Spirit jersey. There's going to be new Orange Bird ears, lounge fly, and a corksicle tumbler. Then a new Dooney Burke is going to be featuring no other than one of my favorites, No White. The bag looks fantastic. Um, she's going to be set in um, this design with flowers and stuff. And they're also bringing out flowers with her on the ears. So I'm really excited. Also um, is a pair of new Crocs that are coming out with figment. And they're going to have like little, um, those little charmy things that you can put on your Crocs. Um, they're going to have like Snow White and stuff. So that you can add. Uh, guests can visit the Festival Markets, Odyssey, and Creations to purchase these um, collections while they last. Um, I know they're coming out with a new Munchinglin. Munchling? How, how do you say that, Jessica? Munchlings? Munchlings. The oh, little yeah. animals. Oh, Yeah. Are they? I think they're munchlings, but yeah. I know. Yeah, sounds good. They're, much, <laughs> they're stuffed animals. Um, they're going to have an orange bird. Um, so it, it looked really cool. One of our friends wants it. Um, so I'm going to look for him um, if I can find it. So um, that's all I have for now. All right. Thank you, Darlene. Um, Darlene, something you mentioned how you could pronounce the names this week. Well, I just want to let you know. We were talking the last couple of weeks about how these names are so difficult to pronounce. It's not just us. I've seen other podcasts having the same problems. So it's not it, it's not us alone. Isn't that funny? I mean, I, we really, really do try, you know. Now, the 1923 Mimosa and 1939 Mimosa and the 1955 Mimosa, I can pronounce that. <laughs> I think Disney purposely does that to make everything sound so fancy and, and elegant and nobody can pronounce them. Right. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, if you're a fan of Disney and you want to go on a vacation, who better to go with and who better to trust than the fan and the folks, not the fans, the folks at Mouse Fan Travel. They will get you to Disney World, Disneyland. They'll get you on an adventure by Disney or Disney Cruise Line. Anytime, anywhere you want to go the way you want it to be. And you can find out all the great deals they've going on right now, including resort discounts, by going to www.mousefantravel.com. That is www.mousefantravel.com. All right, in other news this week, on February 22nd, the Reedy Creek District approved a $74.5 million increase in its preliminary budget to accommodate the third phase of Worrell Drive North Extension, which is expected to be a two-year project. This includes a 1.6-mile four-lane roadway and a 100-foot vehicle bridge, retaining walls, roundabouts, along with utility relocation and protections for the utilities. All right, another Disney news. Discounts are now available for Disneyland guests staying at the Disneyland Resort Hotels from March 12th through June, 20, June 8th, 2023. Disney Visa card holders can save up to 25% off, while general guests can save up to 15% off. Resort stays may be booked now through June 5th. The discount offer is subject to availability and restrictions and only valid for travel dates that fall on Sunday to Thursday nights. And that's starting March 12th, 2023 through June 8th, 2023. 
Season two of the Santa Clauses will have a new cast member, Eric Stone Street from the Modern Family TV series. He has been cast in the role of Mad Santa. On Monday, February 27th, the Walt Disney Company announced that Disney legend Bernie Madison passed away at the age of 87 following a brief illness. Madison was the longest serving cast member in the history of the company, having worked for the company for 70 years. During his illustrious career, Madison was an animator, director, producer, and story artist. And that is all the news I have this week. Darlene, park hours. Okay, before I get to park hours, if you are looking for a realtor, please contact our friend Victor Naraki at DisneyAtYourDoorstep.com. He will help you find your perfect home. So, park hours. March. We're in March, guys. Three months into the year. Woohoo! March 1st, Magic Kingdom this week is going to have a extended evening hour at Magic Kingdom tomorrow. So we have 9 to 11 p.m. and then 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. Then we have a special ticketed event on Tuesday, March 3rd, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. and then 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. Then the 3rd, the 4th, the 5th, we have hours of 9 to 11 p.m. And then we have Monday, another Special ticketed event, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., nine, uh, 10 to 1 a.m. Then Tuesday, March 7th is 9 to 11. Epcot next week, or this week, sorry. <laughs> um, I can see my dog back here. Yeah. And he's, he's it's he's, funny. I'm watching the dog I while know. you're talking. It's just <laughs> I know. Let me grab terrible. him because he wants to be picked up. Come here. Oh. <laughs> he wants to be in the show, too. Okay. Um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 9 to 9, with extended evening hours for deluxe guests, 9 to 9, and then 9 to 11. And then Tuesday, 9 to 9. Uh, bah, 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 that was Epcot, Hollywood Studios, 8.30, 9.30, from the 1st to the 7th. Um, tomorrow is the only day that Animal Kingdom will be from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. The rest of the week is going to be 8 to 8 p.m. And Blizzard Beach is going to be 10 to 5 p.m. all week. The Boardwalk is going to be 6.30 to 10 p.m. all week. Disney Springs, Wednesday, Thursday, 10 to 11 p.m. Friday, Saturday, 10 to 11.30 p.m. And... Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, 10 to 11 p.m. Now, I do have to admit that Disney um, Springs has been very pleasant to walk around during the daytime hours. Don't ruin it for the rest of us, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <What? laughs> yeah, the worst time to go to Disney Springs is weekends, at, especially at night. You heard Uncle Stewart say that, so you looked at me, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you, Darlene, for your welcome. Park hours and the weather forecast. The seven-day Walt Disney World weather is going to call for daytime highs in the mid to upper 80s through Friday, and overnight lows will be in the low 60s. Then, from Saturday through Monday, you can expect daytime highs in the low to mid 80s and overnight lows in the upper 50s. Who said summertime isn't here? It's you know. End of February, beginning of March, and we're already into summertime when we had no winter this year. I think we had a couple of days where we had a little bit of cold, and that was in December. Yeah. Nothing, Jan nothing bad in January, nothing in February. Oh, it's been fairly it's been fairly warm this past couple of weeks. It is. Yeah. Yeah, we could Not use a lot rain. of rain either. No. Yeah, you know, I'm hoping we get a little bit of rain here and there. I'm sure people traveling here don't want to see that, yeah. but I know, right? It's not rain long here when it does rain. All right, uh, let's see. What else do I have to say? Oh, yeah, I did want to mention something else here. On this day in Disney history, not, I only have not just one item this week. I've got two. Ooh. It was on February 28, 1981, that the Disneyland Hotel in America St. Well, I can't even talk. All right, let me start all over. It was on <laughs> February 28, 1981, that Disneyland 
I, can't, I still can't do it, held the American Sings Weekend, a playful salute to America history that included photo ops with Sam the Eagle. And the other thing I have today that happened on February 28th, this time this was on, two, it was in 2004, Earl of Sandwich, everyone except Lottie's favorite sandwich shop at Disney, opened in Disney World's downtown Disney Marketplace. So it's been there 19 years. Next year, they'll celebrate their 20th anniversary. Wow. I was going to hold that till next year, but what if the 28th doesn't fall out on the day we do the news? Here's my question for you. The last time you went, yes. what, was, what is your favorite sandwich? I think it's the original. The original? Yeah. I like the uh, Caprizi. They had a salad there that I loved, and they don't have it there anymore. It was, It had like a Thai dressing but it was a it was a spicy dressing i have not seen that there in months if not yeah. years um, just do you have a favorite um around the holiday time i really like the holiday turkey one yeah the holiday turkey yeah. one is wonderful. I, if, if kurt's listening he would be yeah that's it because he loves it <laughs> um now for those who don't know lottie ferguson who's on our um, regular show later in the week has an aversion to earl the sandwich for some reason. I don't know. But she doesn't like pizza either. So This is true. Yeah, she's just got very particular taste. Very good taste, too, in food. Um, and I think that's going to wrap it up for us this week for the news edition. We will be back later in the week with our regular show. So look forward to that. Um, they, we'll have a main topic and maybe a subtopic, depending on if one of our cast or crew on the Thursday, well, that's when we record, is willing to talk about it because he will be going on vacation soon and I would like him to mention a little bit about his upcoming trip. <laughs> but that's up to him. Mm -hmm. But we will have a main topic to discuss that you really are going to be very interested in hearing what we have to say. So tune mm -hmm. in later in the week. All right, everybody, we're out of here. Till next time, be safe. Bye-bye. See you real soon. Have a magical night. Stay safe and please pack your sunscreen. Bye-bye.